Hey, my friends, this is Shandri, a friend in holistic wellness, spirit, soul, and body. This video is about a week and a half late. Trying to catch up, guys. So many things and insights that have taken place. I'm just trying to catch up. Anyway, hope you are enjoying this beautiful day. I am. Just had a nice little walk. A little sweat. That's, that's good sweat is good so Ephesians 3 and 20 says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us 21 says to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever amen we salute our Creator. Now let's break this down a little bit. Okay, so I don't have a dictionary with me. Like I said, this video is kind of late, so I'm just trying to get it out. Exceedingly. That's saying far more than you expect. That's safe to say. More than what you can think abundantly is also like quantity or more than enough you know the overflow if you will okay above all also says more than it's like more basically is the common denominator with all of those words more than exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think so that means we have not thought it we have not asked it because it's exceedingly it's abundantly it's above all that we could ever ask or think so we haven't thought it yet amen okay how do you know that God is not waiting on you to move forth Maybe he needs our legs, our voice, our hands, our body. You know, maybe that's why he called it the body of Christ. <gasps> you think? Hmm. To show forth his presence in the earth. So, stop waiting on God to do everything. He is inside of you. To do the work. I'm going to say that again. Stop waiting on God. To do everything. It's just like a car. If you don't. Okay a car is a car all by itself. Right? Just like God is God all by himself. A car is a car all by itself. However. That car will not move unless somebody get in put in some keys crank it up and operate it so basically it's the same thing with God he doesn't it's like you have to move forth in the things of God in the things that he's calling us to do and yes I'm saying us let me tell you guys something I'm always the first partaker of whatever I give you. Remember that. So I'm not just like, oh, she just thinks she... No, 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 no. I'm talking to me too. So, maybe he wants us to go forth, walk in the things that he's calling us to walk in. And then he will come alongside of us and do what we cannot do. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, this video was like a week and a half late. And then when I heard this um, in a message on Sunday, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I was supposed to drop that video down. So, I'm being obedient. So, also, maybe if you don't, then maybe God won't. If you don't move, then maybe he won't. Hello? Hello? So, what 
have you been procrastinating about? What have you been putting off and delaying and saying, Oh, if it's supposed to happen, God will make it happen. <laughs> no. Not in this here season. You got to do the work, honey. And he'll come alongside you and do what you can't do. Okay? <laughs> you will never know what you are made of until you move in that thing. You know, sometimes fear and fear of the unknown, basically. It's not, I don't think we're just naturally afraid. I think it's just fear of the unknown that sometimes paralyzes us and, and causes us not to move and to do the things that he's calling us to do. So, don't allow fear to paralyze you. Get up and move. <laughs> And this scripture is also something that's ringing loud in my spirit. For when the enemy comes in, the Lord the Spirit lifts up a standard against him. Listen to that now. Now, now you listen to this. For when the enemy comes in, your spirit lifts up a standard against him. So he has to come in. In order for God to show up. Take peace. Have some peace. About that right there. He have to come in. The enemy have to show up. In order for God to come in and move. Okay. And just let me leave you with this. I've been encouraged <clears throat> by this. You haven't conquered. And triumphed. Until your enemy. Tells you. Oh you change. You're different. Did you hear that? When your enemy tells you you have changed, then you can say, I am an overcomer. I have triumph. I am triumphant. <laughs> I am a winner. <laughs> you change. You different. Really, you don't say. So until the enemy tells you that, keep working at it. Okay. This is your friend in holistic wellness, spirit, soul, and body. I'm trying to keep up with you guys and with all these spirit downloads. So I will be back probably in a few days because I got to get it out. <laughs> Amen. Peace and love always. Until next time. Bye.